So in the previous video in flowchart, we looked at the first mechanism of long distance transport. In the next video in flowchart, we'll continue our discussion on long distance transport, but this will be part two. And what I want to reiterate, of course, is that this is all occurring via a bulk flow mechanism that includes three specific sort of parts to it. And the second part that we'll cover in this video is number two of the three. So we did transpiration and that's one way to do bulk flow. The other way to do bulk flow that works in great cohesion with uh, transpiration, no pun intended there, actually pun intended very much so, is the cohesion tension hypothesis. So this is another way bulk flow happens in addition to transpiration and works with transpiration. Take a look, I really suggest looking at figure 36.11 because just like I said this is a figure to look at in the previous video, it's still a figure to look at in this video because it highlights the cohesion tension hypothesis as well. It highlights all three of the mechanisms of bulk flow. But for right now, we'll focus on cohesion tension hypothesis. So this hypothesis basically states the following in words. It states that transpiration, which is a process that we looked at in the previous flowchart, it creates something known as tension. In the sense that you lose this water from the leaves, that now you have this tension, this sort of emptiness that is going to allow cohesion and tension to work together. In, in a sense, what we're saying is transpiration creates tension. This causes, this directly causes H2O cohesion to, the keyword here is pull, to pull H2O from the roots to the shoots. So that's a lot of words here. Let me just slowly go over this. Transpiration creates tension. Why? Well, that's because the leaves lose water. We have an emptiness. We have a vacancy. That's our tension, essentially. That causes H2O cohesion, H2O to bind with itself, to pull H2O, bring H2O up from the roots to the shoots. Remember how I said you might be wondering how does transpiration really do this? The transpiration part is the first sort of rule, sort of first sort of way to create the tension, but we can only... To fit or sort of, let's say, lessen that tension if we utilize cohesion. And that's going to be seen in this hypothesis. So let's put a little bit more detail to this. This is our summary of what happens. Let me give you a little bit more detail. So we talked about transpiration, right? And I want to make sure we highlight transpiration again because I want to show the connectiveness of cohesion, tension, and transpiration. They work together, absolutely. So what happens is the following. Leaf cells lose H2O, right? They lose H2O. And the reason why is because leaf cells do photosynthesis, and when they do photosynthesis, they have to open up the stomata, those openings, and those openings are subject to losing water. And when you lose water, you're going to, of course, start transpiration. So leaf cells lose H2O. Why? Stomata open, photosynthesis happens, etc. This creates tension, as stated in the definition above. So it creates tension. There's a vacancy. There's an emptiness. That's tension. So what's going to happen is the following. H2O from stem, H2O from stem xylem, from the stem xylem, moves to the leaves, moves to leaves, because why? The leaves were empty. So now the water that's within the stem goes to the leaves, but now the stem is empty. So now the stem is empty, what's going to happen? The H2O from the root xylem. Why are we saying xylem also? Well, that's because that's the specific region at which water is transported. H2O from the root xylem moves to stem xylem. Why is this moving to the stem xylem? Well, that's because the stem xylem was empty. Now the root xylem is empty. Now the roots have to absorb water on their own. This is basically a simple stepwise scenario that happens all because of the shoots, the leaves losing water initially. What do we want to really focus on here is the following. Transpiration creates a unidirectional one-way flow. That's all it means. Unidirectional movement of H2O. 
It is absolutely one way. We don't have water moving up and some water moving down. All the water is moving up because what you're seeing is water going from the soil to the root tissues. This is all through short distance right now. Then from the root tissues, it goes to the root xylem. And then we have to move from the root xylem, which is a different organ, to the other organ known as the stem, the stem xylem. If we have to go organ to organ, between organs, we're utilizing long-distance transport, right? And then from the stem xylem, we move to the leaf xylem, right? Because the leaf needs water as well. From the leaf xylem, we need to go to what is known as the leaf mesophyll. We haven't explicitly mentioned what the mesophyll is, M-E-S-O-P-H-Y-L-L. -L. The leaf mesophyll is just a part of the leaf that will be involved very much so in photosynthesis. Then we will go to the stomata. This is the movement of water. The stomata will now be uh, next to the water. Water will be right there, and then water will be released to the atmosphere as water vapor. So this is one-way flow. That's basically what I'm trying to say here is that water goes this way. It never goes backwards, right? It never goes like that. So because of that, this is all through a transpiratory pull. This pull is occurring and thus you have transpiration. But what I want to now, since we've reiterated this many times over, now I want to mention is cohesion. Where does this play a role? This, I will tell you right now, transpiration is simply not enough. It cannot do all the bulk flow necessary. It absolutely needs the help of something of a quality of water that we talked about in bio one called cohesion and adhesion. We need this. Transpiration absolutely needs to work in co in cohesion with cohesion and adhesion. Okay? And that's essentially the cohesion tension hypothesis in a nutshell. The cohesion adhesion idea is that you're going to have this transpirational pull. Okay, just like we established here, this is all a pull of water happening. And it's through transpiration, through the loss of water. Transpirational pull can extend down all the way to the roots. And it starts at the leaves, remember. How does it extend all the way down to the roots? It can only happen via an unbroken, that's the key word here, an unbroken chain of H2O molecules. So we need a cohesive and adhesive chain of H2O molecules that goes all the way from the leaves that are losing the water all the way down to the roots that will eventually give us the replacement for all of the different places that need the replacement. This is all going to happen through an unbroken chain that utilizes the important water qualities of cohesion and adhesion. Let's remind ourselves what these are. Cohesion would be the fact that H2O water sticks to co, meaning itself, sticks to itself via H bonding. Don't forget this. This is very important biology to never forget. Water sticks to itself via H bonding. And thus, for this region, we would say that H2O forms within itself of these large unbroken columns of water throughout the plant. Why are they a column of water? Well, that's because all the H2O is sticking to itself and literally turning into somewhat of a physical column that's seen throughout the plant, but that column is useless unless it's adhering to something. It has to also, uh, the water has to adhere to something. In essence, the H2O also not only sticks to itself, but sticks to cellulose. And that cellulose will be a really important structural part of the xylem. It sticks to cellulose in xylem, so adhesion is H2O sticking to something else, not itself, to the xylem cell walls. That's where it's found, specifically due to, of course, H bonding. It's always about H bonding in water. So due to H bonding, so we have the adherence to the cellulose in xylem cell walls, which is then going to allow overall water that adheres to, sticks to, walls, of all xylem cells. And there you have it. 
overall take home message here is do not think transpiration can do everything alone just because we presented it first. Cohesion has to work with the tension that transpiration creates. Transpiration creates tension and causes H2O cohesion to pull H2O from the roots to the shoots in this unidirectional flow because water sticks to itself, sticks to the xylem, and thus you have this huge movement, bulk flow of water transport throughout the plant.